Welcome everybody. This is Julie D from NordoniaHills.News. Welcome to Jamming with Julie. This is a demo song for our video project. Yes, so I had um, an idea to do this video. So anyways, <laughs> that's just a little clip of the song. Um, and the, the video is going to be showcasing our little, you know, little town here, Nordonia, Nordonia Hills. I know it's not on the map. Um, isn't that something people say, where's Nordonia? They hear, you know, about the school and they say, where is Nordonia? And they look for it on the map. Um, and I know it's a school district, but I say I live in Nordonia because it's where all these all these communities are all integrated. Um, so, anyways, I had this idea for the Nordonia Hills video, and I want to, um, I want to use local talent and uh, musicians, and also do a fundraiser for the Emergency Assistance Center. I want to wrap this all up in one beautiful local project, and I need your help. So we did the demo song. Um, Zach and Dana Matthews. Some of you may remember Dana being a teacher in the Nordonia, I can't talk, Nordonia School District. Um, and uh, Zach is um, one of the owners of Invasion Studios in Norfield Center, Sagamore. I think it's Sagamore, but my brain thinks it's Norfield Center. Um, but anyways, so I got Zach's help, made the demo. Now the next step is this coming week. So as of this recording, it is Sunday the 7th. So this coming week, we're gonna be shooting in different locations around town and we need your help. We wanna see you, yes, you. So if you're if you're not in Ordonia, you need to make it here Thursday at 11 a.m. on the Bolliants football field. Uh, we, uh, we want you, um, we're looking for extras. And that's the time we're shooting at that location. Probably have some drone shots. Some... We have a lot of surprises planned. Uh, but anyway, we need you. We need extras. We don't want to just do this ourselves, you know, like four people sitting around. Yeah, come on, Nardonia. No, come on. Come on, it's summer, right? So call in sick that day. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but and tell your friends, come on, Nardonia. I know you can do this. I know you got this. And like I said, it's also a fundraiser for the Emergency Assistance Center. So we're looking for local businesses to collaborate with us. And uh, we have three different levels for that. I can put a link down in the des in description. I can also put my email address for someone who's interested. And we're looking for vocalists too. <clears throat> so the vocalists don't have to necessarily be like on the football field <laughs> that day. Um, there's other ways we can you know record your voice and add it in later when we um put all the video together the week after that so next week is shooting and the week after that is putting all together editing <clears throat> i see we but you know i'm not doing any of that i have the professionals at invasion studios doing that thank goodness so there yeah so I wanted to start the show with the most exciting thing because you know I tend to get a little scatterbrained and maybe forget to mention it. How could I forget to mention it? So, anyways, I want to thank Invasion Studios for helping me with this project, and the fun is just beginning. So hopefully we have good weather this week, right? All right. So speaking of this area, um, I think it was yesterday we put out a question. You know, some people that live in this area think this area is the country. I have I have heard people say that, and uh, we're getting a lot of comments. And most people are saying, "No, it's not the country." So you know, there's different, you know, different types of country. You know, there's country where you don't even see the the neighbor's house. They're just like down the road for a piece, you know. Um, so we don't necessarily have that, but um, depending on where you live in this area, 
<clears throat> like for example, I live in Macedonia. It just so happens that on my street, there's no sidewalks. Um, you know, it's not a development. It's on a main road. Um, I don't hear the, but I, I'm far enough away from my neighbors. I don't hear the phone ring or their toilet flush. Lived in Cleveland Heights. Can't say the same thing there. You heard the neighbors, let's just say. Um, so I kind of feel like I live a li you know, a little bit of the country um, versus Cleveland Heights, if you want to compare it that way. And um, the other thing I like, so it's kind of like country, you know, at least the part in Mastering that I live in, but I am close to the road, uh, I'm close to the roads. I really don't care about the roads. No, I'm close to the shops. You know, I'm close to the stores and the restaurants and all the fun things that um, that we can do around town. Um, close activities. And I grew up out in the country, the real country, Ashtabula County. And um, it, yeah, just to go to the store was a major project. And, you know, so I can see where some people wouldn't say it's not the country, but Anyways, post in the comments what you think. Um, maybe some of the things that you like about living in this area, if you do, or if you used to. All right, enough of that N local nonsense. Stop it, Julie. <laughs> See, I'm like kind of like talking like my evil twin today. I have like two sides to me, Heckle and Jekyll, because twins are in town. So, you know, maybe that's why we have the nice Julie, and then we have the witch. <laughs> that comes out. And I must say that I'm getting exciting for Halloween, even though it's months away. And the reason why I think about it a little bit now is I heard a rumor that the Halloween store in Solon is already open. So just putting that out there. All right, let's get to it. All right, so scrolling around on Facebook, I found out that there is a child care center opening in the village. So it looks like they're in the plaza. I presume they're like by Firestone. Um, don't know for sure. Because now everybody in the plaza lists their address as 10333. But I know that there has been daycare centers there in, in the past. Um, so um, I'll post a link um, to their Facebook page, but it's called Friendly Academy. Oh, sorry, Kid Friendly Academy. So that's, you know, I was like new shiny things. So that's new. Looks like they're opening in September. Uh, let's see. They're um, now accepting pre-enrollment for ages six weeks through 14 years old. So there you go. But you didn't know that. Or maybe you did, but you didn't tell me. So, ha, huh, you know, if you know something, tell me. Everybody thinks I know everything. Sometimes I have to scroll through Facebook and find things like you. All right, um, for example, I saw that the Northfield Plaza Barbershop, George's, is looking for a barber. If you're interested, please call Jimmy 330-467-9933. Again, I'll have the phone number down below in the description. Um, and, you know, speaking of, of local shops, um, I just recently um, I had a leaky tire and I kept putting air in it and, you know, kept getting worse. Obviously, it doesn't get better, right? So I finally went to Discount Tire. And let me just tell you, they made it so easy for me to get it. I, I think I was probably in and out of there less than an hour and I got new to two new tires and they had them in stock and did it, you know, really quick for me. And um, I'm just so happy I don't have to put air in my tire anymore because <laughs> that was uh, it's annoying, you know, and a little worrisome. You're on the freeway and, you know, you see your tires low and you just pray that you get to where you're going. Um, and with the weather you know, the bad weather coming, I want to make sure that my tire is taken care of. Um, oh, and but then by the way, if I'm going to mention my car, Don Young um, does a lot of work on my car and um, he is definitely a mechanic that you can trust. I'll put his information down below. All right, and just in case you need to know, Kent State is, I think I have a graphic for this. see here my bag of tricks there's still time to apply um so there's no application fee low tuition small class sizes over 20 associate and bachelor degrees to choose from 
Um, I do believe there's, like I said, just, um, oh yeah, the, the deadline is August 15th. So you still have some time. I'll put a link for that down below as well. And there is a garage sale coming up. Here's the picture they sent me. August 13th through the 14th, that's a Saturday and Sunday, uh, 10 a.m. to 3. And I will have a link down below. Oh, let's see what else we have. Um, the uh, Longwood Manor Historical Society is having a rummage sale. Let me rummage through my pictures here. There we go. So it's um, Friday, 9 to 4, Saturday, 9 to 3, this coming weekend at the Manor House, which is 1634 East Aurora Road. All proceeds go to the restoring of Longwood Manor. I know they have a lot of stuff. They have like Christmas decorations. And am I allowed to say Christmas in uh, in August? Um, no word on the Christmas diner. Hopefully they'll be opening this fall. We are looking for, we have, we're, you know, we have bells on. We're waiting for that. Uh, let's see, Gibbons, um, deadline for signing up for massage therapy training is the deadline is coming soon here if i can find it oh here we go so they um gibbons they are an accredited school in the state of ohio so you can start your path to massage therapy it starts on the 22nd so the the registration deadline is the 15th classes are held evenings and Saturday afternoons 1230 to 2:30. Uh, they prepare the students for Ohio Medical Board to become a licensed massage therapist so I have the information below on how you can contact them and there is a company in Illyria looking for let me see here up up, up. Ranium Alloys is looking for a die cast supervisor. Um, this person will oversee all production within the plant while adhering to production schedule, ensuring on time delivery for customer satisfaction. And again, that position is in Illyria. Oh, this is something cool. Um, I bet you didn't know this. Well, because you know, we post stuff on Facebook and you may not see everything that we post. But did you know once a month we post the property sales in the area from the previous month? Um, so, you know, we have Hudson, uh, Twinsburg, and, um, and the Nordonia area. So sometimes people are kind of interested, like, what are homes in this area going for right now? So um, it's public information. So once again, I will put a link down below. There is a golf outing for the wrestling team. Jason Walters wanted me to let you know. Pin for the Wind Golf Outing Fundraiser. Information will be down below. Um, so as you know, there is a tattoo parlor coming to Macedonia. I managed to sneak in. Where's my picture? This picture is like to hide from me. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh here it is. Oh, his head's cut off. I'm sorry. So anyways, um, the new facility, the tattoo place is in the um, Center One, believe, I believe, Center One Plaza, basically the plaza with uh, Macedonia Nutrition, which is Macedonia Nutrition, which used to be Achieved Nutrition, that plaza. And this spot used to be Longtown Knits. I believe on my last show, I was saying, hey, this spot's available. Well, guess what? Not anymore. So um, anyway, uh, the guy in the center is Joe, of course, the one that cut us his head. Um, the studio is called Studio Hoju. And um, he, Joseph Perez, is in, from Twinsburg. So, he, I, so this is the thing. I was going to Macedonia Nutrition to get a shake. And I saw these guys going in there to the old uh, long tail knit location. So I knocked on the door. <laughs> and 
they let me in. So this is what, you know, they were just starting to work on things. Um, they cleared everything out and started painting and everything. So I thought that was funny. I happened to be in the right place at the right time. And, you know, I have to give a little shout out to Mastonia Nutrition because you may not know this, but they have coffee now. Wow, that picture is kind of blurry. Um, but yeah, I got an iced coffee and you can still have a shake. Uh, they don't use Herbalife anymore. They've changed their formula. But I think the bigger story here is they have coffee now. How about that? And I'm going to be giving you more information about that here soon. And speaking of local businesses, let me see if I can find this. So there is a new handyman in town. I think I actually have his business card somewhere. Oh, I can't find it. Well, here's his load though. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh, let's see. Oh, here we go. So let's see here. Um, Lauren folks is starting a handyman business and he does all types of things. Um, he, he's a veteran. Uh, let's see. So he is servicing the Nordonia Hills area and surrounding. He um, was a lead installer for 25 years handling HVAC and plumbing issues. He also has knowledge and background in electrical, water heaters, bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations. Um, let's see, his note here is some of you may know us. If you don't, we have spent our entire lives in the community. Over that time, anyone who's worked with Lauren knows he wants to make sure you receive quality work and craftsmanship at a reasonable price. If you have an issue, be sure to reach out. And if you know anyone who has an issue, please pass our name along with confidence. And that note was by Lee and Lauren folks. So anyways, I mean, I'm always seeing people looking for a handyman, looking for somebody to do this or somebody to do that. Um, and he has a lot of um, those tools, those, <laughs> those skills in his toolbox. So make sure you give Lauren a call and tell him Julie D sent you. Oh, let's see. Manor House is having a, oh, I already talked about the rummage sale. I'm repeating myself. All right. And then we have the touch a truck event. Let's see here. If I have a graphic for that. Uh, it's uh, this Thursday, the 11th from five to six 30. And um, that will be at the, at the Macedonia rec center. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the rec center, they are going to be closed. Let's see here. Rec center, rec center, where are you? Here we go. Well, the rec center will be closed August 15th through the 21st for maintenance, which is obviously next week. And then this coming week, Wheels Jewelers is going to be on vacation. Well, actually starting uh, yesterday through the 14th. They'll reopen Monday on the 15th. So, you know, luckily all these businesses don't close the same time. Our town would just be on vacation. Oh, sounds great. That'll be on vacation. Uh, Blossom and Bows. Um, I don't know. You probably maybe missed their um, sidewalk sale, but they have 25% off clothes and purses and 75% off clearance items um, currently. Love, love, love them. All right. And we do have... Um, so I went by the uh, IHOP that we're getting. You may have forgotten that we're getting an IHOP. It's been, you know, this project has been um, taking a while because they're basically having to gut this building, uh, which used to be Pizza Hut. So um, I went over there and put my <laughs> camera to the window to see what's going on. And um, as you can see, they've just totally transformed the inside. And as you see, they had to rip out the ceiling, everything everything must go um so um they're working on it and on the outside looks mostly finished but they're still working on the the back of the building where um they added on um 
they added a cooler, I guess some coolers and different storage to the back. So the front looks done, but the back, um, the back, uh, here's the front. For those of you that don't live around here, don't, can't see what it looks like now, it's slowly becoming not Pizza Hut. And yeah, the Pizza Hut buildings were very recognizable back in the day. Um, but they totally changed the roof line and obviously the roof used to be red and i can't wait to see how this is going to look with signage i think that'll really finish things off very nicely and i know you know i'm i'm looking forward to pancakes i don't know about you but i'm looking forward to it all right so it looks like i got through everything on my list but you know let me just take one more look at my pictures oh you know what um i have the daycares um, Facebook page I'll send you a link to and then um, I don't have any pictures from there, um, but they have a ton of videos like walkthrough videos of their different rooms, so I thought that was interesting let's see if I forgot any other peak shores it's you know it's just been crazy this past week. Um, I can give you an update the Tuscan vine the Italian restaurant coming to Sagamore hills. Uh, is coming along fine. They're just um, waiting on paperwork at this point, and he's hoping to be open at the end of this month. And uh, let's see, um, any other projects I can update you on? Oh, Ground Zero informed me that they're, um, this past week, I think they did more construction to their bar restaurant area, and they should be opening by the end of the month. A lot of people are really excited to um, to go there. I've had their food. Their food is great. Oh, here we go. I have an updated picture of the Optima Dermatology Building. So looking pretty snazzy. Can't wait to see it, it all finished. Um, in case you're wondering where this is, it's um, in between Culver's and Chipotle in the uh, Crossings Plaza. Um, it's, you know, over there where <laughs> a lot of the food is. Um, it's over there where Chick-fil-A is and Panera. And um, that's where the construction project uh, for Panda Express and some chickens seems to have stalled. I'm waiting for walls to go up there. It's just dirt and, you know, sticks sticking up out of the dirt. You know, I'm qualified to talk about construction projects you know, very qualified, like six coming out of the dirt. That's the the um, the um depth of my knowledge <laughs> for construction. Oh, you know, and I keep saying, I really need to go get one of those little construction hats. So when I talk about <laughs> uh, construction, um, you know what, maybe some one, one will magically appear one of these days. Um, so when I talk about these construction projects, I could put my hat on and, and really seem, you know, like official, like I know what I'm talking about when everybody knows that i not qualified <sighs> so anyways um last but not least i just want to talk a little bit about the seance we had with mary jane kind of like what happens in the seance stays there so you have to experience it for yourself but it was it was very interesting and um very very cool and um if you you know want to talk with uh, mary jane um, she can help you personally too. You don't have to do it in a group setting. Um, and I will put her information down below as well. Oh, I think that's enough, don't you? That is enough. And as all as good as all that was, I probably forgot something. But um, I think you're tired of me. So I'll see you next week with any luck. <laughs> next weekend's paper weekend. So yeah, it should be okay though. Should be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's fine. Well, anyways, enough of me. Oh, here, let's put out our song on a little bit. First responders always working to keep our town as safe. Our schools are great for learning. And Everybody have a great week. See you next time. Bye.